Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft experience here on the Minecraft Survival Mountain Server. I don't know why I changed the name to the Minecraft Survival Mountain Server, but uh, that's what I did. That's what I did. Oh, too low. Welcome back. Oh, you just decided to do that, didn't you? Okay, okie dokie. Welcome back! Last episode, we worked on that tree farm. We can get a little peek of what we've done so far. Is that a block still in the air? It is. Uh, last episode, we worked on our tree farm because we needed a bunch of wood, a bunch of trees to finish the tree farm, ironically. But that's what we needed. And my goodness, if that is not what we've done uh, in this little in-between area. I did a lot of off-camera work, mainly because I couldn't record it, but, you know, such is life, anything. Uh, anyway, 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 I have replaced all of the wheat with carrots because a couple episodes ago, we did make a rabbit farm. Oh, don't look over there. That's the, uh, that's the tree farm. I need to show you that still. Uh, the rabbit farm is... Uh, it's slow going. It's slow going. I have come to terms with the fact that rabbits are not implemented because of their food, more so because of their feet and their hide, which I guess is understandable, but it makes me very, very sad. Uh, so, what we're doing this episode, and we only have three stacks left, what we're doing this episode, uh, ooh, look at that. We are going to be hopefully making a lot of progress in our tree farm i'm thinking of the best way to show you this perhaps over here uh we are going to make a lot of progress with bam look at that huh now this doesn't look like much this is like donuts he showed this in the last episode that stupid little underlying banner around this thing that borders this, that little border, that little piece of detail, that's completely useless except for aesthetics, took so long. I had to cut through vines, I had to cut through trees, I had to cut through leaves. It's awful. It's awful. I hated it. I hated it. And you guys didn't see any of it. And we've got a new path right there. You can see that path that travels there. That didn't take that long. But... I'm not sure I like it. I'm not sure I like it. Uh, oak wood, uh, I had to make the pathway mostly out of wood because if we have like a jungle tree grow here, it will take the leaves with it. Unfortunate, but that's just the case. Uh, that's a weird way for the acacia trees to grow, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, mm, I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels, but I'm not sure I'm 100% sold on the uh, the fences i'm not sure if i like the fences or not because uh, i don't i, I want to just like jump into this at some point so i i'm thinking about changing it to stairs or something i'm not entirely sure uh what i definitely will do i have decided is that i'm going to cut out these fences and i'm going to cut out these logs right here because they have no part uh, in our build right here because that is going to open it up a lot more. It's going to keep the border, but it's going to allow us to walk back and forth all up and around it if you're comfortable enough doing that. And that's definitely what I want. With this entire jungle build, I've always emphasized the kind of free running aspect of it, if you want to even uh, call it that. And so I'm going to eliminate these quarters. Uh, by free running, uh, I mean the, uh, the parkour uh, free running. Uh, aspects of the jungle that's part of the reason why I just uh, I'm in love with the jungle because uh, the pathway goes up here right and the pathway goes up here but because we're in the jungle because we have this verticality we can jump down here right and bam we're down here now we can jump up here actually we can jump up here we can jump up these lines and hey we're up here now right it's a little bit more of a convoluted way of going about it and we're up on this weird ledge right now. And if you come up even more, we can go, hey, oh, we're on this ledge. And we come up here and we go up on this tree and we're right here. Look at that, huh? I think that's part of the best, uh, one of the best parts about being in the jungle is being able to have that verticality and that free running parkour uh, effect. And that's what I wanna keep hold of right here. So I'm going to eliminate these corners and I'm going to see if that helps. I mean, it definitely will help, uh, but I want to see if that eliminates the issue of that not being able to, and I think it will, I think it will. And so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but in terms of future plans of this right here, 
don't know if I like that. Maybe I'll have like carpets uh, oddly or maybe just logs. Just to kind of break it up because it looks really long and monotonous. I don't know. I simply don't know. Torches and stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's that. I still need to put cocoa beans all in around the jungle wood area just to make it look that much prettier. Uh, but this is what the, uh, the trees will look like fully grown. This is what I've mapped it out to be. We've got one, two, three. Uh, you can look at that spruce right there. We've got three spruce two by two trees. One, two, three. Um, a dark oak two by two trees. One, two, three. Jungle two by two trees. We've got one line of acacia, one line uh, of 16 long acacia, birch, as well as down here, oak, which is so great. And uh, that is... That's the farm right there. That is the physical farm that works brilliantly. You can see this axe has taken so much durability due to this farm, and it's so great. I thought I almost fell. Uh, I did fall, but not that far. Uh, but right here, this is going to be awesome. Hopefully, it's going to be awesome. Because what I have right here, I could throw up chests, right? I could throw up chests. Hey... Here's 10 chests, here's a, a chest for wood, here's a chest for leaves, here's a chest for, you know, saplings. That's cool. And I'm going to do that, no matter what, I'm going to do that. But what could be even better, we have an automatic sorting system. I go up to a chest and I just go with all of my stuff into the chest and then it gets shot up item elevator somehow we may do an old style item elevator or we may have it drop down and sort it this way and and then we'll drop down or whatever i don't i haven't figured it out yet but it will sort jungle all of the six different types i will have a chest for jungle wood jungle saplings jungle leaves and the same thing with dark oak sap saplings dark oak leaves dark oak logs and then i'll have a bonus chest for vines and apples for all that sort of bonus stuff so that is our plan. That's the goal. That is the uh, the momentum this video is going to take. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to get the details of this sorted out first, so it may take a while, uh, but we will get there eventually. And I, I, I'm so excited for this. I hope you guys are too. I, I love tree farms. I love this big sort of uh, manufacturing style uh, of gameplay that you get in Minecraft. You can manufacture objects. It's just so great. It's so great. I'm rambling. I need to stop. So that's that. That's the plan for today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Now let us get some progress going. Donuts, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, um, if this isn't the, the not ideal way to, uh, to bring you back, uh, welcome back everybody, welcome back you beautiful people, I hope you guys are having a good day, I know I already wish you that, but, uh, not, no, no sense in not saying that, uh, again, cause I do hope you are having a good day today, and, uh, this is going to be an odd little episode, I guess, um, yeah, this is not the progression that I wanted, but you know, you deal with what you can and record when you can and all that good stuff. Um, so this is when I can record. And uh, today has been really sad. Well, actually the past couple, not past couple days, but past couple hours, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, my, this is personal now, um, personal time with donuts. How you doing? I know this is different than the first half of the episode and I apologize. Um, but yeah, my dog is not feeling well, and that's pretty sad to me. She's uh, 10, 11 years old, she's a miniature schnauzer, and uh, she can't see any. Where are you? She uh, she can't see anymore, um, she can't see very well, and she can't control her bladder. Oh, you're right here, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Hey, let me kill you. Oh, no, you just died for me. Okay. She can't control her bladder, um, and she can't see anything. She can't see anything, so she's just the saddest little thing wandering around the house, kind of just... I don't know if you've ever seen, like, a, like an animal kind of with their ears up, kind of just, like, almost like they're stalking their prey, but she's always just, like, looking 
She's just looking around. She'll walk very slowly with her head kind of down, kind of nose down, just kind of like this, just kind of wandering back and forth. And this morning I woke up because she usually likes to, um, I don't know how, how else to say it, but she usually can't control her bladder in the morning because, I don't know, she had kidney stones and she's getting old and whatever. Um, but uh, I woke up and I was like, let's go outside. And, you know, she kind of went outside, but because she can't see, she can't see the steps to the deck. So she gets really nervous. And so she didn't actually go in the grass where she's supposed to go to the bathroom. And I've, I let her out like two or three times. And I let her out with the other dog that we have, hoping that she would like, you know, follow. But no, she didn't. Um, and she wound up uh, just going on the floor right in front of us, right in front of me. And um, it's just not a good situation. It's just not a good situation. And um, it's not something that I like to talk about or deal with all too much. But um, it's what's happening. So I thought I'd share that little nugget of information with you beautiful people. Um, so yeah, there is, there's that, that I'm sort of kind of dealing with right now, which isn't too bad, but, uh, it's just kind of sad, you know, like we've had her for basically her whole life. So it's like, you know, it'd be nice to just, I don't know if they just lived forever and all that stuff, but, uh, not exactly going to happen. So yeah, yeah, meh. So if I'm not energetic, that's that's why. So so there's that. We're just here. Anyway, back to Minecraft. Back to Minecraft, everybody. We're here. Tree farm. Uh, and I have sided against automation. I know I hyped it up so much. I was like, we're going to do this super awesome automated thing. And I don't know if it's just my attitude right now. Um, but uh, not really feeling it. Not really feeling the uh, the automated stuff right now, um, mainly because of the item elevators. Uh, I know, I know that kind of makes me seem weird, uh, but I found a weird thing with the item elevators, uh, at least the design that we had. If you put a dispenser down facing up into a column like we had before, uh, it will shoot the item up but then it will proceed to fling out of the top. And uh, I may show you that uh, sometime in an episode. Uh, just kind of uh, what happens exactly with an item. In fact, no, I'm going to show you uh, right now. Yeah, okay, so we're here. This is the uh, this is the item elevator design that I thought of just kind of off the bat. Like, it's just kind of what I thought might work. Um, if we take some uh, just items right here and we throw them, it does go up. It goes up, but as you can see, occasionally, occasionally, there we go. That one will fly all the way up into the air and it will fall back down uh, somewhere else. Now, right now, oh, there we go. There's a piece right there. Um, that's not too bad right there because we did get um, most of our stuff. I think I've only lost one which is good. Um, I don't even know where I went. Yeah, it went way, way, way over here. So that's not exactly the best item elevator uh, idea, but it's something. It's the start of something. So that's what I got so far. If we go back all the way over here, you can see where I started to think about the design uh, for the item sorter. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of hoppers. And it's just like, that's... That's not worth it, you know? And even when you put like items in here, it's so slow anyway. Oh, and I put a little thing there. It's quite annoying, I know it is, I realized this. But yeah, you just put it in there and, and it sorts it automatically so you can put it in there and forget about it, but it's so slow. It's like faster to do it by yourself. So I don't know, we may do that later, but uh, yeah. So yeah, there's there's that, there's that. So we are going to do uh, this. I don't know if I wanna keep the leaves like that or I'll change the leaves or 
I don't know what to do right now. I'm just kind of building to get my mind off stuff, which uh kind of working actually. It's pretty good. Um, as far as this little pathway is concerned, I think I'm gonna put either a redstone lamp or a glowstone every other block. I love what I'm doing with these. I like how it kind of makes it feel a little bit more uh, structured. It breaks up the monotony of the the single long fences and um, I think it's good and I'll have the green uh, carpet on top which will be good. I added the mossy cobblestone uh, into there as well. Do I have any? Where's the jungle? There's the jungle. All right, so, and then I think I'm gonna have a little little area right here with like bone meal and stuff just to kind of um, highlight this area. I don't know how that's gonna work with these trees right here, but uh, it'll come in time, it'll come in time, but um, that's really all I have time for today. I know that's kind of like a really sad note to like leave on, because it is. <laughs> But that's just kind of where we're at right now. Um, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. We're going to do something like this. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Um, we'll figure this all out. Uh, I'll figure it all out. And then up here, we'll have a cool little smelty thing right here. It, it'll be fun. I've got some good plans for that right there. But uh, for as of, as of now, we'll have like logs, saplings, and leaves. And uh, this one will be our little bonus chest. Maybe have it right there with vines and apples right there. So that'll be that'll be all well and good. And we will make it. And uh, that's going to do us for today. Uh, I'm going to farm up some of these trees and put them in the chest. And uh, I cannot wait to get this going. I may even finish this little uh, area off camera just to make it a little bit better. Um... I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you today. I'll uh, farm some rabbits, get some more food going, and uh, we can we can get going on this jungle and finish, hopefully finish, this tree farm uh, idea at least uh, a little bit for the um, for the next couple episodes. Cause uh, getting kind of tired of this tree farm, and I'm sure you guys are too. And I've got something else in mind that I want to do, a little something special for you beautiful people. So that'll be it for us today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. And uh, I forgot the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And until the next absolutely beautiful Minecraft morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.